Ever wondered how the oxygen sensors in your car work? How these seemingly small pieces play a major role in your vehicle's performance? Welcome to the Auto Advisor channel where we take a deep dive into the fascinating world of automobiles. Today we're focusing on oxygen sensors, those vital parts of your car that monitor the level of oxygen in your vehicle's exhaust gas. They're essential for optimizing your engine's performance, reducing harmful emissions and ensuring economical operation. In this video, we'll be exploring how these sensors work and the common causes of their failure. We'll also look at the signs that might indicate a faulty oxygen sensor and discuss their average lifespan. It's a lot to cover, but by the end of this journey, you'll have a newfound understanding of these essential components. So buckle up as we delve into the interesting world of oxygen sensors. The oxygen sensor, a critical component in your car, but how does it work? Let's dive in and unravel the mystery of this tiny yet significant device. At its core, the oxygen sensor is a meticulous supervisor, continually monitoring the level of oxygen in your car's exhaust gases. This data is a critical tool for the engine control unit, or ECU, to determine how completely the fuel-air mixture is burning. It's this careful monitoring that allows the ECU to adjust the fuel-air mix, ensuring it's neither too rich nor too lean, but just right. So, how does this data exchange happen? The oxygen sensor communicates with the ECU, providing real-time feedback every half a second when the car idles. As the engine's revs increase, so does the frequency of this correspondence. The ECU uses this constant stream of information to adjust the fuel-air mixture on the fly, optimizing engine performance, reducing harmful emissions, and ensuring the most economical operation of your car. You might be wondering, how does the oxygen sensor measure the oxygen levels? Well, to function correctly, the sensor needs to be heated to a specific temperature. Initially, this heating was done solely by the exhaust gases, which, frankly, took a bit too long. To speed things up and meet stringent emission standards, electric heating was introduced. This addition transformed the oxygen sensor, equipping it with two more wires, one for mass and one for signal, bringing the total to four. The ideal fuel-to-air ratio is typically around 14.7 to 1 for gasoline, 15.5 to 1 for gas, and 14.6 to 1 for diesel. These ratios are not arbitrary, but are carefully calculated to ensure the most efficient combustion. In essence, the oxygen sensor is the car's way of keeping its engine running smoothly and efficiently. It's a small device with a significant role, ensuring that your journey is as smooth, economical and eco-friendly as possible. With its vigilant supervision and constant communication with the ECU, the oxygen sensor is indeed a silent hero under the hood. Now that we understand how the oxygen sensor works, let's talk about its lifespan. The average life expectancy of an oxygen sensor can range anywhere from 25,000 miles to 60,000 miles. That's quite a range, isn't it? Well, a lot depends on the quality of fuel you use. Higher quality fuel with low impurity content can actually help increase the lifespan of your oxygen sensor. Heavy metals and impurities found in lower quality fuels can potentially harm the delicate sensor, shortening its service life. So, investing in good quality fuel isn't just beneficial for your engine, but also for your oxygen sensor. We've learned how the oxygen sensor works and its lifespan, but what causes it to malfunction? There are a number of reasons why an oxygen sensor might fail. It could be due to mechanical damage, perhaps from a severe impact during an accident, hitting a curb, or unexpected off-roading. These instances can cause significant harm to the delicate sensor and lead to its failure. Another common cause is engine misfiring or ignition skips. These can wreak havoc on the sensor, leading to its malfunction. Similarly, System clogging is also a major culprit. Combustion products from poor quality fuel often accumulate in the system and cause the oxygen sensor to fail. Breakdown in the piston group can also lead to oxygen sensor failure. If a piston, piston pin or connecting rod is defective, oil may leak into the exhaust system, which can clog the sensor and cause it to malfunction. Contamination is another common cause of oxygen sensor failure. The intrusion of any fluid into the system is harmful and can significantly reduce the lifespan of not only the oxygen sensor, but other parts of the vehicle as well. 
Short circuits in the wiring can also lead to oxygen sensor failure. These can occur due to a variety of reasons, such as faulty installation, age, or corrosion. Additionally, an overly rich or too poor fuel-air mixture can harm the sensor. If the mixture is not within the ideal range, the sensor can essentially harm itself. Depressurization of the exhaust system and natural wear and tear are also common causes of oxygen sensor failure. Like any other part of your vehicle, the oxygen sensor is subject to wear and tear over time. And it can fail as a result of a combination of these factors. Just like any other part of your car, the oxygen sensor can fail due to a variety of reasons. But by knowing these causes, we can take steps to prevent them. Having understood the causes of oxygen sensor malfunction, let's now delve into the signs that indicate your oxygen sensor might be in trouble. The first sign is an increase in the level of toxicity of the exhaust gases. Unfortunately, this can only be determined through diagnostics as there are no outward signs, not even a change in the exhaust smell. Next, if you notice a significant increase in fuel consumption, it may be a sign that your oxygen sensor is not functioning properly. Depending on the severity of the malfunction, fuel consumption can increase by 1, 6 liters. Another clear indicator is the presence of oxygen sensor error codes, such as P0131, P0135, P0141, and others. These codes, along with the check engine light, are clear signals that something is amiss. Uncharacteristic engine behavior is another sign to watch out for. If your oxygen sensor is malfunctioning, it may stop generating the correct signal leading to a deterioration in the quality of the fuel mixture. This in turn can result in twitching and popping sounds in the engine, as well as fluctuating idle speeds. Overheating of the catalytic converter is another alarming sign. Since a faulty sensor sends incorrect signals to the ECU, it disrupts the operation of the catalytic converter, causing it to overheat. If left unchecked, a breakdown is imminent. Lastly, the car's dynamic characteristics may deteriorate and engine traction may drop. This is also due to a rich or poor mixture caused by a faulty oxygen sensor. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's advisable to seek professional help immediately. The earlier the problem is detected, the easier and cheaper the solution will be. We've covered a lot of ground today in our exploration of the oxygen sensor. We've learned that this little gadget plays a crucial role in maintaining the health of your car's engine. It's responsible for determining the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gas, which in turn influences the composition of the fuel-air mixture. We also discovered that the lifespan of an oxygen sensor isn't infinite. On average, it can last between 25,000 miles to 60,000 miles, depending on the quality of fuel used. And, of course, we dug into the common causes of oxygen sensor failure. From mechanical damage and engine misfiring, to system clogging and short circuits, there's a range of issues that can impact its performance. Remember, a well-maintained oxygen sensor is key to your car's performance and efficiency. So keep your engine running smoothly and drive safe.